Hello, hello. Thank you for being here with me. Today I'm sharing my vocal readings of the passages most prominent to me, as well as my synthesis of the focus topics covered in book 45 of my Book A Week series, Robert Aitken's Zen Vows for Daily Life. This book is a compilation of vows in verse form intended for use in our daily practice to gently remind ourselves about how to behave in alignment with love, compassion, and understanding. Opportunities for enlightenment are available in every moment to everyone. As we consider how we can align our actual behavior with the energy that we most wish to disperse into our environment, we are consistently given opportunities to do so, to examine what a given circumstance means to us, to be fully present and welcoming toward the physiological interaction that we're having with the circumstance, to broaden our field of vision such that we can remember the many elements of nature and mystery that are in action in every circumstance, to refrain from reactivity until we've reached the peace of understanding. Now, what I just summarized is a messy process, inevitably, involving infinite patternings of message, response, sacrifice, reward, exertion, rest, interaction, contemplation, triumph, failure. Each part implying another <laughs> notes in the exquisite composition of what life is now robert aiken uses ordinary situations as openers to the absorption of the buddha's teachings illustrating how life's daily circumstances are the very ingredients of our awakening without further ado i'll move on toward the vocal readings Enjoy. Waking up in the morning, I vow with all beings to listen to those whom I love, especially to things they don't say. Holding hands in a ring, I vow with all beings to ease the pain in the ring of breath around the world. When people show anger and malice, I vow with all beings to listen for truth in the message ignoring the way it is said. When a question threatens my thesis, I vow with all beings to try it out as antithesis and see if a synthesis works. When I'm worried about my condition, I vow with all beings to rest in my human condition, breathing in, breathing out, heartbeat. When it's hard to be true to my faith, I vow with all beings to trust that my little hobgoblin will find ways to help me hold fast. Embracing my lover in bed, I vow with all beings to bring patience and care and the joy of new life to our ancient dance. When anger or sadness arises, I vow with all beings to accept my emotional nature. It is how I embody the Tao. When I catch myself blowing smoke, I vow with all beings to clean the air by confessing the smoke doesn't cover my fear. Looking up at the sky, I vow with all beings to remember this infinite ceiling in every room of my life. When green leaves turn in the wind, I vow with all beings to enjoy the forces that turn me face up, face down on my stem. When the racket can't be avoided, I vow with all beings to close my eyes for a moment and find my treasure right there. When someone tears at the fabric, I vow with all beings to come forth with the voice of no source and show how it cannot be torn. <laughs> 